There are many ways to help prevent HIV, but there is only one way to help prevent HIV after a potential exposure. It's called PEP, or post-exposure prophylaxis. PEP is an emergency prevention option that can be used if you think you were exposed to HIV through sex, shared injection drug use equipment, or a needle stick injury at work. PEP is medication that an HIV-negative person can take to help prevent HIV after a single possible exposure. PEP works by stopping HIV from making copies of itself in the body. The sooner you start PEP, the more likely it is to work. PEP needs to be started within 72 hours after a potential HIV exposure. It needs to be taken every day for 28 days. PEP is highly effective at preventing HIV when started within 72 hours and taken as prescribed. However, it is important to use other prevention strategies to avoid new exposures to HIV while taking PEP, such as by using condoms for sex or new equipment for injecting drugs. PEP can cause side effects in some people, such as nausea, fatigue, and diarrhea. For most people, side effects are mild. Your doctor or nurse practitioner can help you manage side effects if you have them. If you want to start PEP, you should immediately contact your doctor or nurse practitioner, a hospital emergency room, or a sexual health clinic after a potential HIV exposure to ask about where to access PEP. A healthcare provider will help you decide if you should start PEP based on your exposure. PEP is only recommended if you have a high chance of getting HIV. The cost of PEP may be covered by your private health insurance plan or public health insurance. You may want to ask your doctor or nurse practitioner, a pharmacist, a sexual health clinic, or an HIV organization about ways to help pay for PEP. PEP is not the same as PrEP, or pre-exposure prophylaxis, which involves an HIV-negative person taking medication on an ongoing basis, both before and after a potential HIV exposure, to help prevent HIV. To learn more about PEP and other ways to help you prevent HIV, talk to a healthcare provider or visit your local HIV organization.